do it all to try to take a game off of CJ Antis. And we'll see how seriously CJ feels like playing in this one. See if they want to go home early or if they want to have a bit of fun. Wow. Well, Coco has been very good on that Vlad. He's here. been exceptional. Yeah. Uh, probably the best Vlad that we've seen so far. I and agree. that is taken out of the pool immediately. That's our first Vlad ban, actually. I think Coco has enough other tools that maybe you don't want to ban that. Wow, they're banning Thresh, too. They wow. Okay. I mean, just play Blitzcrank or Bard. You know, the problem is they're leaving up so many power picks in the current situation that these pocket bans don't make a lot of sense. If Coco may be able to get LeBlanc right here, that could be very dangerous. You're probably not going to first pick LeBlanc if you're an incredible miracle. And there's LeBlanc being banned, actually, by IM. But so many options left up for CJ. Oh, yeah. Hecarim, they'll be able to play this game well, if Shai's they so going to get choose. something good, for sure. Shai's going to get a great champion. Coco's going to get a great champion. Callista ban. All right. They're going to take the Hecarim away. Well, Lilac hasn't been terribly stellar on the Hecarim in the past. See what he can do. I think you might as well just grab that Maokai for Shai, or you can get it later, too. Yeah. Or that I think rumble. they're just going to take the rumble yeah. immediately. And it looks like it will be Ignite instead of Smite for Lilac. Uh, Shy, the Kale already, always a threat. We have seen top Kale in solo queue as well from well, the last Marin. Time, the last time or not. Yes, from Marin. The last time. No, from Shy. Trace. Sorry, Trace okay. is the one playing it. He was a Kale main uh, way back when, I think. Wasn't he? Maybe. Anyway, uh, Shy did play Kale in a preseason match. That was the last time he played it. Very well. Competitively, too. yeah, it was awesome. It was huge. But we might see him play this Rise, and Rise is a perfectly good pickup right now. It's really good against Hecarim, too, because he actually can't get onto you at all. Yeah. He tries to use his E, and you just rune prison him. Yep. And you hit him in the face with a few Qs. So they don't have to commit to that pick right away, though. So I think taking the Sivir and the Nautilus is going to be a bit stronger. Yep. This is CJ banned Sivir last game, and yeah, almost certainly support Nautilus. Ares will get this Rek'Sai. But Sejuani's still open. They're going to take the Kennen, too. Okay. Well, that's now, a lot of it could be engaged. a support Kennen. It could be, yeah. In fact, with IM, I'd, I'd almost... I would think it think is. I think it probably is, yeah. Uh, Frozen may decide to play it as well. Uh, they Taking the Kennen away when you have the Sivir and the Nautilus already showing. Probably pretty smart by Incredible Miracle, though, because you have a big threat of an all-in. And Shai... Yeah has played that cannon recently and did do very well on it. But I think they're going to go. I honestly think they're going to go for this rise, Doa, in the end. Are we going to? I want to see the Annie Brand bot lane, the CJ special, the CJ <laughs> troll special. Come on. Make it happen. I'm sorry. Wung is dead. He's dead. No. It's not going to It's not going to be coming back today, I don't think. Uh, maybe Shai's Jax is going to come back today. That though. would be really bold. That Jax is huge. not a great pick in the current meta. Well, they don't have anything to lose. All right, Jax, Nunu, just do it. Screw yeah, it. They're doing it. All right. The fan's going crazy. I mean, Shy built his career on Jax. Like, this is his champion. Yeah, I, there, there has been some Jax play around the world recently. It's looked pretty bad, honestly. It's it, Well, if anyone can do it, it'll be Shy. At least again, he has a Nunu for the Blood Boil. I mean, he will be, if he can get into that late game status. But this is uh, this is styling right here from CJ Andis. I doubt they would play Jax in a playoff game coming up. Scary looking team coming out of IM as well too. And I think you're right. I mean, CJ has nothing to lose. They want to just kind of put on a show for the fans and the fans want to see Shai's Jax. And Hecarim just, I think he's simply a stronger pick in the current meta right now. Of course, they bo both these champions do like to pick up items like Trinity Force and uh, work with that. But even so, the Jax isn't going to be able to have a distinct split push advantage versus Hecarim. And Hecarim just able to do so much more it was much uh, better in engage. terms of flanking and yeah. yeah, much better engage. Ooh, Cho'Gath taken. So it looks like we were support right that cannon. will be a support cannon. Yep. Oh, and will we see the new Zillion? I would love to see it, actually, because uh, his Q is buffed so massively. Maybe we'll see that in Nivea. Yeah, it's a difficult skill shot to hit that right now, though. So yeah. I think it would be surprised. But, you know, if they want to play new new jacks, why not just cap it off with the old Zillion, Doa? Yep, why not? Play... Play mid zillion. He's kicking it Just old school. Every egg in the shy basket. Well, you can really speed Jax up too, you know, going into fights as well. It's not invisible, but it's still cool. I think Oriana, a much safer pick instead of that zillion. You still 
offer utility and protection for Jax. And it's really good counter to the engage that might come in as well, too. I, I do like the Orianna. I'd love to see AD Malzahar as well, too, but I don't think we're seeing that. Maybe uh, a... Uh, maybe are a they actually going to pick Malzahar? That's possible. They have nothing to lose. Okay. There it is. Malzahar is going to go to the mid lane. Well, this hasn't been seen since the glorious days of many reason, Doa. Yeah, I know. Man, it's been a long time. <laughs> long, long time. Uh, he does have percent damage for Cho, however. When everybody jumps in, too, on this IM team, they're going to jump right onto that percent damage as well. So it's it's going to be it's going to be interesting. I feel like CJ has put together a composition that can potentially handle the engage from IM. Yeah, it's going to take a while to scale for Malzahar and Jax, though. But I am also looking at a scaling composition here. Now, they have Ken and Graves. That's a really good lane in the 2v2. Or Ken and Abel to harass because he doesn't have... He's pretty much resourceless, does have that energy, but of course comes back immediately. So you can right. constantly put down the harass and the burst at level six from Ken and Graves is going to be pretty scary for CJ to deal with. But they do have a spell shield and Nautilus is tanky, so they can survive. But CJ Antis has pretty poor engage with this composition. Jax is pretty much <laughs> going to have to jump in first. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty great. CJ uh, I wouldn't use the word great, but well, well, we'll see. CJ obviously saying, hey, you know what? We're gonna play one for the fans. That's the approach here for this game. They don't need to win. They know they're better anyway. We'll see what they can do. And you know, if, if any organization has a history of trolling in matches that aren't terribly important, it's, it's CJ. Let's see what happens <laughs> in game number two, guys. It's time. Time. Incredible Miracle versus CJ Antis. And CJ looking to close the regular season out with a 2 1 after they lose this game to IM because of their silly picks. But it should be fun. And they could still win, too. <laughs> I, I had still put money on them, even though their composition doesn't well, make just, any sense. They're so much better than I am right now. Yeah, that's oh, the thing. Oh, the cheese is real. Oh, boy. Oh, they saw him. They saw him coming in. Mad Life could get the hook, though. Sonstar, they're going to try to get a flash here. Hook we'll started in Q, so they were hoping to try and get a silence off and nail somebody, but yeah. it's not going to happen. I suppose generally you start with E on a support and Nautilus as well. You don't start with the hook. Right. Yeah. But if you catch someone, maybe you can flash hook them. <laughs> start Q anyway. The plays. Well, it looks like Shy may be actually starting a Raptor camp right here. Hmm to get a quick level two. All right. Did skill is E first. And some extra damage. So interesting. I don't even know. I didn't even know you could do this with Jax in the top lane right now, but huh. that's cool. Makes sense. You know, this This is a, you know, even though the, the results of the season as far as these two teams, or the regular season as far as these two teams are concerned is, is set in stone, uh, it's a big deal for IM actually, because this conceivably could be their last game in Champions. Yeah, probably not. I really, probably, probably I really not, think that's but it unlikely. Could be. It could be. Well, they're going to go for the Gromp right here. It will be given over to them, yep. considering Nunu has enough sustain on his own. Mad Life will tank that one out, and they split experience. Meanwhile, Tucson and Sonstar just take the small Krug, so level advantage will head over to CJ pretty quickly right here. Yeah. And Lilac takes the Gromp, Chai takes the Raptors. Everybody goes back and teleports into the top side. Pretty much. Exciting times here in League of Legends yeah, where everybody looking. jungles at level one, except for the mid laner. I'm just looking forward to seeing what Coco can do in this mid lane besides die to a gank from Ares. We'll see. Level two gank. The cheese is yeah. real, but of course Malzahar is quite immobile and very, very vulnerable. Gankable. Yep. We're about to see. There's a flash knock up onto Coco. He's already fairly low. They get the silence off, and that is going to be a dead Coco. Yep. Saw that one coming a mile away, didn't we? Well, Frozen had the W, so there was just nothing that he could do. Gets the silence yep. off, and they have the damage with the Ignite there. And now Coco, not only did he die after using Flash, so now he's just extra gankable in the mid lane. Yep. So he can anticipate Ares coming back. So well, nice level two gank right there at two and a half from I, Ares. I feel like that's IM's, that should be IM's plan in this game, is just yep. camp Coco and make his life miserable. Yep. 
Well, they have to slow down Shy, though, is the thing, too. And Shy has taken Smite. Oh, boy, did he just take yep. that? He did. Ambition, Ambition. You, you jerk. Well, he read that well. He Rogue. knew he hadn't been doing that blue buff, so Ambition getting the drop on him. Smite from both of our top laners, by the way. But Smite oh, on right. Jax. Very interesting. Yeah, well, it helps him do that uh, early Raptor camp. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's good. But... I get, and the challenging smite, of course, is going to be very good on Jax as well. Yeah. He'll be putting out a lot of damage with that, with the, some heavy attack speed, and what his item build will be. What do you think they'll maybe do some split pushing as well with that then? Oh, yeah. I, both both Hecarim and Jax, big in terms of split pushing, so should be most of this game, in fact, is. There's a large void link. Split pushing duels. Oh, <laughs> it dies in such a sad manner. I know. Or Voidling. All it wanted to do was eat minions <laughs> and people. Is well, that so wrong? And Void Monsters, perhaps. Yes. We're talking about Cho'Gath in the mid lane. Yeah. Oh, Shy. This is going to be one of those games where Lilac dies 1v1, isn't it? I don't know. And it's harder on Hecarim, <laughs> but it is it is Shy's Jax versus Lilac. We'll see. The fan service Jax. Fan service Jax, it's true. You know, it's. I, I think it's time, and we'll see how this game goes. But it is. It is. Uh, I am's last regular season match, and I feel that it is time to award the the Long Panda Award to Lilac. I think he's. I think. Undisputed I think. Undisputed champion. I think there. It doesn't matter how Kuve plays tomorrow. Yep. I think it's already been locked up. I think you're right, Doah. I agree. I think it's too late for Kuve. He can. He can try, but I think I'm going to call this one a little bit early for Lilac. Yeah. So congratulations on his upcoming Long Panda Award. We'll look forward to seeing the Lilac Note next season. <laughs> oh. Mm. I'd like not going for an engage right there. Well, if you throw your anchor into that, you just get electrocuted. <laughs> Nobody wants it is. that. Yeah. Metal's far too conductive. It's to really dangerous, To deal actually. with that situation. And he's, you know, he's kind of like got the sea theme going, so he's, he's also wet. You know, there's also water all over, so <laughs> it's quite dangerous. Oh, he just wanted to throw it between them. That was Mad Life's intent all along. He's like, three points, it's good. Coco and Ambition going for a dragon, of course, with that consume and the percent HP damage. Yeah. Have an easy time getting through this. Ares may come in for an attempt to steal. Coco not level six yet, so he can't lock this down. Yeah, here comes Mad Life, though. They should be able to secure it with that. Mad Life coming in, just making Ares' life miserable. Here comes Space as well. They'll get the dragon. Will they get away? Looks like I am may want to fight this. They're going to flash ahead. Ares trying to make a play here. Madlife turns around on him. Ares in a lot of trouble. Went way too deep. Gets low, and will he live? No, Coco picks that one up. A kill for him, and now Sonstar in a bit of trouble. He's going to quick draw, dash away. Tucson escaping despite being hit with that snowball, and wow. That boomerang blade Ooh. doing a lot of damage, and that was so close. Wow, really? Good kiting from CJ Antis right there. Yeah. And I am over pursuing it, especially Ares, and he gets caught out, hit by the Ignite, and then finished off by Coco's Q. And Shy in the meantime, just farming up right now. Hecarim, Lilac using that opportunity to just go ahead and farm up in the jungle of CJ Antis, so good use of his time. And looks like we will see the Skirmisher Saber for Lilac. Shy opting for the Sheen first. Yeah. It looks so it looks like, like he'll be going Trinity Force, Force into Cinder Hulk, I would assume. Probably a little bit better build if you want some more damage here in the early game. So he should be winning duels with Lilac right now, at least in, well, not duels, but trades at the very least. Maybe duels. Shy is sad. We'll see. Meanwhile, Lilac. Go take the Gromp as well. So top side of the map is Lilacs. We saw this from Someday the other day. Yeah, we've seen some pretty amazing farming done by these top lane Hecarims of Smite. And because he has that Saber already, he will be getting that 30 extra gold per camp. Meanwhile, Shy has the Smite, but won't be getting extra gold until he picks up a machete. Yeah. Wow, you can just get so much. I mean, Hecarim moves around the map so quickly, too, that you can duck in, take all this stuff, and yep. still get back to tower to pick up the wave. Hecarim's extremely good with Teleport Smite, that's for sure. Yep. Uh, it's, we're probably going to see a lot more of the Hecarim bans that we saw in game one today, simply because it's very difficult to stop him from getting to that late game super yeah. tank backline destruction status. 
And that Sheen is going to do a lot of bursts on the Lilac, too. And there's pretty much no risk, right? You just have yeah. to walk into the enemy jungle. If you see them, the enemy team bottom side you, or their jungler, if you have good information on that, and you could just walk into the enemy jungle, go ahead and take it, and there's not really a whole lot that they can do about it. If you have to be overextended, you could just go into your own jungle, so you can, can, can continue farming without a big risk of getting ganked. Oh, knock up onto Coco. He gets silenced as well. And yeah, Coco, getting that kill is, is pretty important. Looks like he's going to be going for Rod of Ages here. Picked up the catalyst. And here comes Mad Life. All right, just kind of making his presence known in the mid lane. Can help maybe push this up a little bit. See if Coco wants to go back and buy, or if they want to just contest this blue buff. Looks like they will. Ambition is already there. Ares doing what he can. Looks like Ares did pick up that blue after all, though. But that means it didn't go to Frozen. How did Ambition miss that? He had Smite up, he smited first, and Ares smited second, and he has consumed. There's not really a lot of excuse for that one, Ambition. Uh, it should have been his for sure. I don't know, well, maybe we'll see the replay. But regardless, it doesn't really matter if it's on Nunu, or it's, it certainly doesn't matter really if it's on Rek'Sai. So they, the point is just get it away from Frozen, and that has been successful with Coco picking his buff up and there is Whoa, meanwhile. space dying to the level six all in. You have to be okay. super careful about that. That is yep. so what we talked about in Champ Select. <laughs> the level six all in from Ken and Graves is very strong. Space farming too far up. Mad Life wasn't all even right. there. Let's watch Mad let's watch Space immediately die. Mad Life had gone back and here's Space walking up. Oh nice engage. No, nah, you you can't do that. Yeah. You can't do that. He should not have been anywhere near that wave. Big mistake from Space. Tucson took full advantage of it. <laughs> Mad Life's like, I leave for five seconds. <laughs> Typical. Support life. Oh, oh, ooh, he nearly got Sansar. At least he delayed the recall a bit. Yeah, that was the main function of doing that. Well, Cinder Hulk already done for Lilac. Meanwhile, Shy. Going back right now and picking up nearly a Phage. It's gonna be a while till he gets that Trinity Force, however. I think you should have maybe uh, sold that Doran's Blade to finish the phage. Probably nah, could have. Nah. Not yet. You want that extra tankiness. And at least a little bit of sustain from the life lifesteal early on. And Ares is here with the Raptor buff, just quickly clearing out a ward, but not a whole lot else. Lovey Boots done on Tucson after he got that kill. Meanwhile, we're still waiting for them on Mad Life. And Frozen's had a really good time farming in this mid lane brewing a pretty significant lead right now. That's true. I mean, CJ is kind of putting themselves in the position where they put themselves in a lot, which is where they'll have to live and die by their team fighting later on in the game. Uh, they're not that far behind right now. They are. Yeah. Well, it's kind of their plan, you know? Yeah. They have the first dragon as well, so a thousand gold down, but with the dragon, so there's not really a big timer on that for them. The big question is if they're going to be able to deal with Frozen if he gets too tanky, because yeah. Hecarim and Cho'Gath and Rek'Sai are not going to be easy to deal with in terms of taking them out. Now, Coco does have that percent HP if people are standing on it, but... Well, they don't really wait, have a way to stop them from coming in, though. That's kind of the thing. I really feel like the Orianna would have been a, a better pickup. Oh, yeah, certainly. <laughs> well, then Malzar, yeah, but, but just like uh, in general, but, it would have fit well against then what they were trying to do. But how would they style, Doa? That is true. That's a big, important question for this match. You need to be able to style. You have to pick Malzahar sometimes for that. And I am going for the second dragon. We'll see if CJ can stop them. I don't think CJ wants to stop them. I think they're happy just taking the top tower right now and getting Jax even further ahead. It shouldn't matter. The goal much. of this composition should be to power up Shy right here. And if yeah. he can take the turret, then he's going to get a lot of gold for himself, as well as the global gold. So it's a very worthwhile trade. Oh, meanwhile, Kenan meanwhile, will die. Yeah, they just caught Tucson, I guess. Yeah, found him. Mad Life hit him with the Oh, ult. wow, they're going to get the turret to it's in huge. bot lane. Man. Yeah, big gold swing now in favor of CJ Antis as they take down two towers, all of a sudden swinging the gold by about 2,000. Yeah, giving up that dragon was Tw definitely Actually, like 2,500, moreover. So they are doing very well by giving up that dragon. And Shy should be quite wealthy when he goes back. Will he be able to complete the Trinity Force? Nope. Just finishing that phage for the moment. Yep, probably not too far off. He was actually very close. He had Dagger and Boots. Yep. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, oh flat. I see. A little really? bit of a siver engage there, and Mad Life with another nice hook. Cute use of the vision yep. just to pop around the corner. Well set up by CJ Entis. Tuzin really not expecting that to come in. Well, they've been so good at, at that li recently, is setting those traps, you know? That's been kind of the, the yeah, major story. Their team coordination has been very good, too. They're able to quickly formulate a plan and then right. all execute on it. We saw that done very well around the Thresh Lanterns in the last game. So CJ really working well as a unit these days. Yeah. It's about time they came together right before the playoffs. For now. <laughs> For now. For now. Now that we think they're good, they're going to be bad. Yep, it's true. The CJ, the inverse, the CJ law of inverse skill is going to come into full effect. Somebody on Twitter described it as Schrodinger's CJ. You can, <laughs> you can never tell if they're good or bad. They, they're kind of at the same time both because you really can't see it. Oh no, we could definitely see it. Well, can we really? Yes. Because they look good right now, but are they good? <laughs> Looking something and being something are different things, Mike. Oh, Shy. There's a chilling smite. Jumps to the ward, trying to get out. Pops that ultimate. Nice stun on the Lilac. That may save his life. There's a knockup, though. That may end his life. Trying to get away. Wow, he makes it. Shy just swag walking out of top lane there. And Rek'Sai coming down to try to defend mid lane. It looks like they'll be able to do it. Yeah, good move by Ares. Making sure they can defend that tower. Lilac actually going full tank Hecarim. I, I do not agree with this. <laughs> Uh, you need to be there able to counteract the split pushing of this Jax. And by going full tank, you also are not going to be able to get into the back line and abuse Malzahar and Sivir. Right. And you need that damage. They need damage right here because with the Cho'Gath in the mid lane, they have tankiness already, but they have to have some more damage down because Sonstar is playing Graves, and Graves is bursty, but he's not going to be able to deal with the tankiness of a Nautilus Jax and Nunu in the late game. They have to have more damage. Well, at this point, Shy has his Trinity Force done, too, so he should be able to win 1v1s yeah, against Lilac, Hecarim really Yeah, Lilac can't get anywhere close to him. Yeah. At least until he finishes that Frozen Heart. It's going to be a little while. Yeah, it really, really is going to be a while. In the meantime, whether Shy will have a Blade of the Ruin King or what exactly he's going to go for next. A Blade would probably be not too bad. Maybe he'll go for that uh, Skirmisher Saber with Warrior Enchant, too. Uh, we'll probably see. not Warrior Enchant. No? Oh, Cinder Hulk, right. Yeah, probably going to go with Cinder Hulk here. You go all out, man. You go Warrior. <laughs> Cinder Hulk is better. It's just great for split pushing as well. Yeah, well, it makes you so much tankier, too. I mean, you'll be able to survive so much longer in team fights as a top lane carry, you know? Oh, flash engage onto space. He's going to oh. spell shield it. Oh, still got stunned, though. And yeah, now they're going to turn around. Yeah, here comes Mad Life ult onto Sansar right away. Meanwhile, support for carry duels on both sides. Mad Life, though, winning his against Sansar. Look at that. Bring him in. And here comes Shy coming down with the teleport. Double knockup, though. I am trying to turn it around, and CJ will trade one for one. Shy barely still alive now. Space coming down to try to support him. Ares is going to go ahead and flash over for that kill. Here comes Ambition and Coco, though. Yep. It was two for two. Will CJ be able to turn this one around? There's absolute zero space. Still fairly low health. Ares and uh, Frozen pretty tanky, but Ares is low. He's going to make it up for now there. Space, yeah, he just can't fight this too much. Balzar is so bad against Cho'Gath, so I he know. started the channel on his ultimate and got knocked up. He can also <laughs> just get silenced. There's almost no way Coco is going to be able to get an ult off in this game. I don't know. I really don't know why he people get, would pick Malzahar right now in League of Legends. He can get knocked up. He can get stunned by Kenna, knocked yeah. up by Rek'Sai, knocked up or silenced by Cho'Gath, the only kicked time backwards or ulted by Hecarim. Like, there's almost no situation that Coco is going to be able to ult somebody. The only legitimate reason now is if you're playing Earth and you're going AD Malzahar. That's a that's about it. That's about it. Uh, it's just especially against this team composition. It's bad. It's pretty fun to watch, though. Is it? He's not yeah. doing anything. Yeah, in sort of like a kind of funny train wreck sort of way. Sure. He's got his rod of ages, man. The stacks are stacking. Look out. Ooh, and a needlessly large rod now, too. The damage is coming in. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. CJ pushing through this mid lane again. They've got both the other outer turrets knocked down already. Frozen is starting to get a bit scary, though. 
Yeah, they don't have ults on a couple members, jungle and support for CJ though, so they have to be a little bit careful with how they play this one out. They also do not have port on Shy, so Shy has to be able to walk into that bottom side, and he's already got that dragon while yep. doing it really quickly. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna trade that dragon for uh, mid turret, maybe not even that. Yeah, I am a little bit scared. Bolts back up, they can fight this. Yep, Sivir pops her out, they're gonna go in, a flash hook. He doesn't quite get onto Sansar though. Meanwhile, Tucson comes in for a pretty good engage. Looks like Mad Life will go down. Tucson goes down in exchange. Shy gets in the back lines, able to take out Rek'Sai. Now Lilac fighting for his life, 1v4. Doesn't work out too well, and there's a snowball now onto Sansar, slowing him down. Shy trying to get in range for the stun. There it is, and there goes Sansar. Looks like we might have an ace here. There's a snowball to slow up Frozen. That sounds ironic, but that's just reality now for <laughs> IM. They are dead, only losing Mad Life in that one. Shy Pretty good fight for, for CJ. Ha having a giggle right there at that <laughs> team fight. Shy picking up a bunch more assists. Oh, yeah. Over the course of that as well, now just heading out to push out the top side. Looks like he will be going probably for Bonnie Sim Cinder next. So Bad Life starting this fight right now. Bad Life ulting Tucson immediately. Coco already caught right here, but Space on the side, able to kill Tucson nearly instantly. Look at Shy, though. Well, Lilac doesn't do any damage. Yeah. So there's not anything he can really do in this situation. And he went after Mad Life, which is not the carries. So I guess you could take out Mad Life, but you get focused down by Shy in that situation, and they're able just to. Use that movement speed from the blood boil to follow it up. Shy gets feasted, but it's just barely not enough to kill him. Yeah. It's uh, pretty much how you would expect some of those team fights to go. Well, there's Cinder Hulk. Shy just finishes it right in one shot wow. at enough money. Yeah, he just buys it straight up. Had to sell his boots to get it, but still. <laughs> It's worth it. Worth, right? <laughs> Hashtag worth, all he caps. did have to send his own boots. Put it in all chat. Yep. That's hilarious. He's like, well, I got boost speed from Trinity Force now. So exactly. I, who needs boots? And also Nunu. Yeah. You've got that phage. I've got a Nunu, too. Yes. So he's perfectly fine. I've got Phage. Boots. I got Zeal. I have a Nunu. I don't need boots. No boots for Shy. Yep. Sometimes you just got to sell those boots. Barefoot jacks. Yep. Sounds like a EDM band, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Yep. <laughs> Where's his head at? That's right. <laughs> Barefoot Jacks. <laughs> oh, I am's like, wait a second. Something fishy's going on near the Baron pit. They're getting some vision. It'd be a pretty early Baron. CJ's not going to do it right now, obviously, but it does pull I am away from that bot lane. The danger is too great. Shy took red buff. Oh, hi, Lilac. So oh, hi, Lilac. Another tool for him to use in the upcoming team fight. Getting I mean, get right back onto Jax. Jax is really the only legitimate damage source right now. <laughs> Coco is going to come through in the end. Don't worry. He's 2 1 and 3, man. He's got two kills ready. I am pushing up this mid lane. Yeah, Shy is just a split pushing tear right now. And he's got teleport in case they need him. Oh, Aries going deep. They're going to go in onto Coco. Nice engage. Coco's feared as well. They're going to take him out immediately because he's Melzahar. Meanwhile, Madlife turns around to hook onto Tucson, but CJ needs to back off from this one. Shy cancels his teleport. He's like, yeah, good luck, guys. Yeah, but are they going to get two tier twos for so. their trouble in this 1 3 1? Now, Malzar able to wave clear at the very least, so they are <laughs> they do force that dive. They use a lot in order to take him down. Only Ambition left right here. Ambition also has Chilling Spite instead of, it would actually be much better in a 1-3-1 if Ambition had the Ranger's Trailblazer. Uh, so he could AOE smite some of these camps away. But that's not in the cards for right now, but something that you know, probably if they were going to 1-3-1 like this, they should have considered. Because it is hard to hold without Coco there, but at the end, they get two tier twos for a two, tier one, so big win for CJ and is now they're going to try and Baron. Yeah, it's still a 5,000 gold lead. They're still uh, way, way ahead. Oh, but hiding. Here comes Lilac. They're going to jump onto him. There's the stun. A lot of damage loaded up immediately. Can Lilac outrun them? Doesn't look like it, and that's going to be a buff going over to Shy as well, too. Yeah, no, no ult on Lilac right there from the tower dive, so he yep. is focused down quite easily. Can't get away from that Sivir ult and the Jack's hot on his tail. Yeah, Shy picked up double buffs from that too, I believe. CJ with a pretty quick Baron. 
Aries and Tucson trying to get back in time, but Tucson with no slicing Maelstrom, no ultimate. There's no engage for IM right now. And they can do Baron so quickly. They yeah. have Jax, Nunu, and this Malzahar that actually does do quite a bit of damage to that Baron, so easily taken. At least he does damage to something. He's about to finish his uh, <laughs> death Malzahar gap, though. Malzahar, I think, is so bad. <laughs> Are we in, we're kind of like going into the Lee's Rengar zone here where it's like, he's undefeated, man. It's a strong pick. <laughs> At least he didn't die as many times as Lee, yeah, Lee's Rengar true. did. His KDA isn't terrible, but that like, doesn't mean he's actually doing things in team fights. Like Coco is, is trying to play this well, you know, and he's doing about as good as he can. Whereas Lee just like played a good champion very badly. <laughs> Coco is trying to play a bad champion about as well as you can. <laughs> yeah, it's really difficult. Well, we'll be frozen heart for Shy right now, lowering those cooldowns. Won't really synergize with his Cinder Hulk, but still a great item on Jax overall. And he decides he doesn't need more damage, doesn't want the lifesteal, just wants the tankiness instead. That's Seems what he's going to get. Ambition is 007 right now, man, sneaking through the enemy jungle. And his KDA is, is uh, it is actually 007 right yeah. now. Yeah. I wasn't exaggerating. OK, well, Shy going to resume the split pushing with the Baron. Not sure how committed CJ can be to this 1-3-1, one, one, considering that Nunu, Malzahar, Nautilus is not a <laughs> great combination to hold mid with. Yeah, Shy doesn't have a teleport yet either, too. They're just going to take Dragon anyway, though. Tucson tries to throw something in at the end, but doesn't end up helping. Oh, Frozen. Would, I was going to say, if he keeps going, I mean, he'd apparently like to die. But CJ just going to continue pushing up the mid lane now. Three Dragons to the one of IM. Now Shy is nice and close if they need him for a team fight too. Here we go, pressure coming yep. in. That's right. Well, okay, a little bit of damage to Ares. Oh, Thanks he actually got an ult off. Wow, suppressed to death. He did. Congratulations, there's your one Malzahar successful ult of the game, Coco. <laughs> Way to go. And they're gonna take an inhibitor off of that. There goes the inhibitor turret. And like throws out the anchor, forces a flash from Frozen, and CJ just gonna rotate to a different lane now, making it look really easy. Well, it is it pretty is. easy is when you have an yeah. uh, 8,000 gold lead and, and a are, Malzahar. And you have a Baron buff. And a Malzahar. No, no, that's not why they're winning. It's mostly <laughs> Malzahar, really. I'd say it's about 95% Malzahar. Don't do this to me, Doa. Now they're going to be people on Twitter like, Malzahar was a good pick. Yeah. And then I have to read Seriously. that. It has to actually enter my brain as a thought. And I'm I sure don't, people, people are already I don't, saying it. I don't want that in my brain, Look Noah. at he's 3-2-3. Three, three. What a great pick this has resulted for CJ. Very smart to grab that one. Shy, chilling smite. Oh, he's going to leap right into the clutches of Tucson, which luckily aren't very big, so he's going to get away. Next is support Malzahar. He'll be back. I would honestly prefer that. I yeah, it's it's I played it. It's fun. It's not that good. Mal's or uh, bad life going for the righteous glory. Maximum Nautilus engaged now. Yeah, makes good sense. times. Also another banner of command hey. for ambition. All right. Use it in the mid lane. Is he going to? He already did use it, didn't he? No, he wouldn't use it in the mid lane because there are oh. super minions there. He probably used it well he used it one oh, of the he side lanes. Used it on top, yeah, yeah. Or bottom. I don't know, man. Those those uh, buffed super minions look pretty intimidating. Or uh, melee minions. It's true. They become super. Look at that. Look at how he owned that blue buff. Malzar is awesome. Truly the greatest champion he's, in League of Legends. He's building Ryla now. Let's nerf him. <laughs> Let's nerf him. I, honestly, he should. It's a good it's That's a good actually item. the best item he can build right yeah. now because... He's not going to be reliable in terms of damage, so he might as well just try and peel with AOE. It slows. Get that Void Staff afterwards, and then, then the damage <laughs> will be done. All right, Ambition here. Oh. But never sell that Doran's Ring. Never do that, Coco. You need it. One ring to rule them all, right? Oh, there's a Flash Engage from Tucson. Gets a pretty good one, but he's on his own. Ah, Ares and Frozen trying to come in, and here comes Lilac from behind. I am trying to turn this one around, but CJ just way too strong. Look at Shy getting into the back lines all over Sonstar. Going to force him right out of the fight, and CJ turning this one around, just taking a romp through the enemy base right now. They lost Coco, 
even on that amazing Malzahar pick, they managed to somehow take him out. But <laughs> but it, in the end, CJ <laughs> is going to get another inhibitor. Yeah, Shy is just way too strong right now to yep. deal with. And this Hecarim doesn't have the tools to actually take out the carries, so he Shy was able to dive, zone off Sonstar very nicely, and they're transitioning immediately into the top. All inhibitors must go down for CJ today, apparently. All inhibitors must die. But first, we have to go back and buy. Why not? Baron's coming up again, though. Just go for that Baron. Yeah. Need to make Malzahar stronger. Uh oh, Shai's in trouble here. Trying to leap, strike his way out, and he does. Just burning that very low cooldown ultimate, so no big deal there. Ooh, looks like a Elixir picked up for Coco. It's exactly still, what he needed. Still can't give up that ring, though. No way. <laughs> that ring is too valuable. It is. 3,000 HP Malzahar. He I've I've seen him when he's not, he doesn't notice anyone's watching, and he's like, my precious. <laughs> I'm like, Mal, are you OK, Coco? And he's like, he, his face gets all scary. His teeth get really pointy for some reason. For the moment. He's like, ah. <laughs> like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll never question it again. Sorry. I'm sorry I didn't sell my Doran's ring when I could have. <laughs> It's okay. We'll take that ring to uh, Mount Doom for you, Coco. It's fine. <laughs> no problem. Monty and I got this. <laughs> yeah. We're very resilient to the ring's effects, you know. It's true. Yeah. I sell it anytime I have an opportunity to. <laughs> I'm like, well, me, I got to get rid too. of these things for wards. Me too. I, uh, I need the money. I just need to buy more damage on support. Because I've already got a sight stone, obviously. You do the bare minimum, getting a sight stone, check. Yeah, and then you, the death cap. Comes if you in. have a sight stone, that makes you support. Then you can just build damage. And here we go, CJ coming in. Ambition just basically high fiving everyone on IM before backing off a moment. Then they go on to Ares there. Tucson trying for the counter engage. Ambition slowing people with that absolute zero. They're going to take out Ares now. Lilac in the back lines. And despite that burst from Sansar, he does not get to stick around to do anything else. Space still alive. Shy just chases Frozen all the way back to the fountain. And CJ is more than ready to end this one after not losing anybody in this final team fight. Grabbing onto Frozen immediately is Mad Life. They're going to still try to get this kill. Nope, bring it around. Let the Cho'Gath live. Let him witness the end of I Am. And maybe it will be. As the Nexus goes down, CJ Entis with a quick 2-0. Not a surprising result. Mad Life with a, another couple stellar games. You know they're going to give that MVP to Coco's Malzahar, though. It oh, was just, please, no. It was so good. I'll, I'm done, though. It made that's such the case. a big difference. No, they're going to give it to Shy for <laughs> Jax. Don't be silly. It's, the old, it's a Shy trademark it champion. It was the old Malzahar switcheroo. <laughs> yeah. It was 5-3-6 well, and six on Malzahar, you know. What a nice map life drawing. That was. Yeah. Poor Lilac. Poor I am. Well, that's going to be the end of their season. Yes, it will. And, uh... A good season, it was not. It was very, very bad. Rough time. Well, hopefully during the offseason, they can work on some of their synergy issues. Yeah, maybe some roster changes. We'll see what they have.